Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, today is a video specifically about burning fat from walking. Uh, this is good for those that don't find running as easy or other forms of cardio. So today we're in a good location. Uh, we're gonna roll some B-roll. I'm gonna talk over this video and go into why I think you should start walking if you're looking to burn fat. Okay, so we're starting off the walk um, a little later in the day. I think we started at around uh, just gone four o'clock and uh, we started on in Windsor on the long walk which as you know or may not know I go there quite often for my runs as Windsor is a nice area and the long walk is a nice place to walk haha <laughs> this is going to be a fairly easy walk uh, nothing intense we're not on a hike or anything we're just wearing casual clothes and going for a stroll uh, which I highly advise a lot of you do so of an evening if you don't already the reason I advise you do so is walking is such an underrated means of cardio. Um, gets your heart rate up. Uh, my heart rate was on average of 80 beats per minute, uh, which doesn't sound insane, but when you spread that over an average of 80 beats per minute over an hour or an hour and a half, um, and then do the math and add it up, the calories burnt is actually quite incredible. Um, and for those of you, like I say, who struggle to run or any other means of cardio, like a cycle or a rowing machine or you know whatever you're able to do or whatever you're able to use you may not want to so for those starting out walking is definitely a good means of cardio and something I have put into my life and to my routine since being in lockdown and I haven't regretted it since um, I'm losing a lot of body fat and yes that's probably down to running but also walking too uh, you're probably wondering, or a lot of you are probably wondering, what all of these cars and flash buildings have to do with the walking video. Uh, a, this is just the place that I choose to walk, and it's what I saw on my walk. But also, I choose to walk in that area because that's the very rich, wealthy part of Windsor. Um, and a place that I like to walk through because it's very inspiring. All of these people that live there and own the cars that you see. They've obviously had some sort of success and that's where I see myself or would like to see myself in the future. So my point being, um, it helps encourage you to get out of the house and go for a walk if you have things that inspire you, motivate you or just a nice scenery around you. It doesn't have to be flash cars and flash houses. It could be for me sometimes a forest or fields or nice open areas. But today was a motivational walk through that very wealthy street in Windsor. Now then, the walk we have been on um, was a short one, an hour. It wasn't the longest walk. And as I say, I burnt about 300 calories total or just shy of. Now, what I advise is if you walk every day and say you do a total of 10,000 steps, 10,000 steps roughly is probably four to 500 calories burnt depending on the person. If you mix that, this is where the losing the body fat part comes in. If you mix that with eating in, to be in a calorie deficit, you're also going to be increasing your chances of burning fat by getting your heart rate up whilst being in a calorie deficit. Now, this doesn't mean that you can't lose weight from, let's say, um, just being in a calorie deficit. You can, but you're gonna encourage it and speed it up just from doing forms of cardio and getting your heart rate up. How about I told you that you could burn fat from walking? Well, you can as long as you're eating in a calorie deficit and you're burning more calories than you're consuming. Burn more calories, eat less food. It's as simple as that to lose weight. Now, going for a walk is gonna get your heart rate up, like mine was on average of 80 beats per minute as opposed to resting, which is sort of 45 to 50 beats per minute. Having it up higher is gonna encourage your body to burn more fat. Now, walking is something we do every day. Why not record it and why not go, instead of just walking down to the shops, why not you go for a long walk At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what you do or how you do it, just go out and walk. Get your heart rate up, go for an hour, two hours or three hours. As I say, you'll be absolutely shocked at how many calories you burn. Well, that's if you can record it with a fitness tracker, which I advise if you wanna lose weight, get a fitness tracker, it's a great place to start. But anyway, just go walk. As long as you're eating less calories than you're burning, you're gonna lose weight. So you don't need to walk, you don't need to do any cardio at all, as long as you're in a calorie deficit. But I can guarantee you the results are going to look better and come in quicker if you are getting your heart rate up and being active. Okay, so we just got back to the car now. Uh, it's pretty cold and dark outside too. That was an hour and eight minutes, nearly hour and 10 minute outdoor walk. A total distance of 3.37 kilometers. 
Uh, it was really effortless. When you say it was quite an easy walk, yeah, a little brisk walk of an evening. But yeah, the, that easy walk burnt for me 287 total calories, um, but active 180 just for an hour's walk with an average heart rate of 80 beats per minute. I won't say that would be the same for you because everybody's different um, and this is not 100% accurate like I've said in previous videos. But the point I'm trying to get here is you're not ready to go for a run or a bike ride or any other means of cardio. This is a nice easy way to get started. So the walk's done, let's get back home and round off this video. Okay, so I'm back home now, as you can probably tell, in the infamous bedroom slash gym. Um, I could have finished the video yesterday, but I wanted to just mention this little clip here. Um, and that is that I want everybody to be aware of the health benefits from walking. Not only is it physical health, but it's mental health too. In the current circumstances in the UK at the moment, and wherever you may be, it may be the same. With the lockdown and the restrictions, life can be very tough. Uh, one thing that I found that helped escape from it all is just going out and walking. It's great for physical health and also good for your mental health too. So if there's one thing you can take from this video, take the main thing and that is me telling you to go and walk. If you can do so, get out and walk. It's a really good means of cardio and it's great for your mental health. Anyway, I also want to mention uh, the YouTube channel at the moment is just ridiculous. Um, the subscribers have flown up in like over two months. I've got over two, over 900 subscribers and we're basically at 2000 subs now. Uh, so keep going, please keep, keep subscribing, keep liking, drop comments. I uh, love to see it all. Uh, and I'm really encouraged by the growth. So thank you to each and every one of you. That's the end of the video. Get out, go and walk. Just give yourself that hour, two hours, whatever it may be, and just go and walk. Go and put it into your routine and you'll reap the benefits. I can guarantee you that physically and mentally. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, I'm out.